Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to do a premiere draft of Alchemy Horizons Baldur's Gate. I may or may not still do another quick draft or two of uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Uh, but despite the past, I don't know, six or seven drafts here, uh, I am still enjoying this format. I am enjoying... Oh, I enjoy the background music to it. Uh, seems like we're... having a slow time finding a table. I don't know why. There's still... There's still several weeks left of drafting for this. Okay, there we go. I don't know if maybe it's just my timing or maybe more people like the arena cube is up right now. So maybe more people are doing that. Uh, so anyways, we're going to look for removal as we start. Hopefully we get some good black, white or red removal. Those are the, the three sort of main colors I like to be in in this format. Preferably black overall. Okay, okay, there we go. And we get a pack with uh, uh, no, no real removal to speak of. Uh, Monster Manual, that's... Not really the type of card I want to be playing. So there's Jahira and there's Druid of the Emerald Grove, both green cards. Uh, those are what I'm looking at. Sepulchre Ghoul's decent. Soldiers of the Watch, there's a lot of green cards in here, though. I think I'm going to take the Jahira. Just a 2 mana 2-3 two, is kind of a great place to be in this format. Um... It's pretty close between that and the Druid. Oh, I do kind of like the Druid. I will take the Gyra. Alright. Someone took an Uncommon, so there's no real signal here. There's Black Market Connections, which is not a rare that I'm a fan of. Uh, and that's not going to be the pick here. So the strongest card in our colors... Is probably the band together or lurking roper. Uh, the strongest card in the pack, I think, is still the blessed hippogriff. So we're going to grab that. Soldiers of the Watch would be next somewhere in this mix. Oh, there's also choose your weapon, but I'm going to take the hippogriff. Hippogriff is a good card. If this had two power, I would say this would be the best card in the pack. Um, so there's a Steadfast Unicorn. I'm not as big on those these days. I'm going to take the Myconid here. It's also a Black Dragon. So someone took a Rare and a Common, uh, but we still have all five colors in the Common, so there's no real signal yet. Uh, but Myconid is a good card to be playing regardless. Okay, so... Do I take Soldiers of the Watch? Or I hear... T I, I think I like hearing things on Watch. White has a lot of two drops. Uh, at common and uncommon, and even rare. I'm going to take you here something on watch. This could be a signal that white is kind of open, because there's kind of a lot of white cards here for pick before. And I mean, we're still passing a lot of white cards there. All right, well, there's a spiked pit trap. Oh, uh, there's a second Hippogriff. 
There's a red dragon. That's like the first real good red card we've seen. There's a vampire spawn. Oh, this pack is stacked. And it's pick five. No Hunter isn't bad, but I don't think that's... I think the pick is going to be the second Hippogriff over the second tier something on watch. This isn't an overall bad start. If that one monster tablet rare that we opened comes back, I'll, I'll rare draft it at that point. I'm not really expecting it to come back, but I'm not a huge fan of the card. Alright, so this pack, we have a lot of red here, but we do still have a Flaming Fist Dust Guard, which I know I've said I'm not big on these. They're okay. They're they're decent. They're terrible when your opponent is playing green and has Underseller Mike in it. Um, but it's a fine two drop overall. I don't think there's a reason to go into red here with Valor Singer and Beetles. We we definitely want to be white when we have two Hippogriffs in in this already. So I, I think uh, the Flaming Fist Dust Guard will be good enough. That is a pick seven Owl Bear. That is definitely the strongest card in the pack, and uh, fortunately we've already got some green cards to go with it. If this thing wasn't nerfed to a one one, I would say that would be. I really liked. I, I really like the dynamics of when this card was a two one. Uh, I just think it created some interesting... Like, it was, it made it aggressive, yes. Um, but it just kind of made some interesting dynamics. That's a pick eight. You're confronted by... I'm not confronted by robbers. You're confronted... This looks like my last deck. Well, not entirely like my last deck, because I didn't have Jahira or Blessed Hippogriffs, but we were wondering where some of those were. I'm going to take the Edder Cap here. Um, I wouldn't mind playing an Edder Cap as a one of. I think I haven't been valuing this card enough. Uh, just a way to kill a flyer. But I don't think there's a realm where we run two Edder Caps. Cloak of the Bat. Is there a realm where I run that? Not really. But we can. We'll, we'll take the uh, undersimplify. Maybe speculate on. Okay, this card's... I know it got nerfed, but it's not that bad, guys. There's tons of Prowlers going around. I was going to say, like, I, I commented on the last couple of videos that we haven't seen a lot of Prowlers. We're confronted by robbers and ambushed on the road again. Again. Um, yeah, I'll take the Spoonie Bard here. And a last big Valor Singer? Wow, what is... What is going on? All right, we have a Humiliation. It's removal. It's going to be the pick. Uh, we have a blue, nigh unplayable, not very good rare. Are those a bunch of crows that are dressed up in... That art's weird. Bronze Walrus is decent. Again, Flaming Fist Tuscar is decent, but... Uh, best card here is going to be the Humiliation for us. Hands down. Uh, what would I like to see in this pack? Maybe some priests of ancient lore? More owl bears? We don't have a lot of three drops yet. Uh, there's another monster manual. We did the manual, the monster manual. Okay, no, we're not going to turn that into a song. Um, Wild Shape is kind of a card that I constantly, like, not put 
in my decks. I I said before I'd rather have the Paladin over the Steadfast Unicorn. I think I'm going to still stick with that. We'll go with the Paladin here. Because I don't mind running Paladin in, in this deck. Alright. Soldiers of the Watch or Meteor Golem. I'm actually going to pick the Meteor Golem because I like removal. We also have like some card draw. Got a little bit of ramp going on. Um, we do need more two drops though. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the Meteor Golem here. Another Mykonid or a Flaming Fist Dust Guard. I'm actually going to pick the second Mykonid. Just kind of help us to ramp to some of these bigger things. Especially if we get more bigger things. I want to be able to do that. Alright. Cravings of Yeehaw. Uh, we're not playing that. Uh, we will play the Steadfast Paladin. I do like that as a two-drop. I like it a little bit more than Soldiers of the Watch. Again, especially since we already have a Dust Guard. You know, these things just look horrible against Mykonids. Whereas the Paladin is slightly less horrible. Okay, we have Guardian Naga or we have a Gate here. I'm going to go with the Gate. Because we can we can probably find a Guardian Naga later. I wouldn't mind a Guardian Naga, though. There is nothing for us in this pack that I am interested in, so... I haven't taken this Junkie Rare yet. I'll take a Junkie Rare. Wow, that was a late Hobgoblin, Captain. Um, another Paladin? Sure. Well, I don't mind another Paladin. Flaming Fist Dust Guard came back? Yeah, we'll play it then. Because I could still use some more 2 And another Unicorn came back. Um, I don't know that I want two unicorns. I mean, I guess maybe. How many? We have four non-creatures. I think Wild Shape. And Soldiers on the Watch came back. Okay, nobody's playing white, apparently. With that stuff coming back around. We have very little green as well. There could still be a realm where we, like, abandon green. Like, the green cards we have are... Like, the Spoony Bard might not play. Green cards we have are, are decent. They're not terrible. I'm not going to abandon it for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rear draft this because I don't... Oh, I've grabbed one before. Okay. Sure. Another soldier on the watch. There could even be a realm where we're just mono white. Not to play the mace. There's a Viconia. I do like the Viconia. If that humiliation wasn't here, I would probably be taking the Viconia. Or the Dread. No, I'd take the Dread Lindworm. I still kind of want the Lindworm. I kind of want the... Yeah, we want the Humiliation, though. Humiliation just a little bit better than the Lindworm. We're at the point where we... No, we don't. We have a gate. Okay, now we're at the point where we have to remove something in order to play something. We have an Owlbearer Shepherd. That's a pretty good card. Letting us draw extra cards. We're lacking in three drops. By taking the Viconia, I could start like grabbing like these green bounties and stuff, but we, we've got a decent enough green base here. I think we'll cut the Spoony Bard. Devoted Paladin just kind of uh, does some of that a bit better. Oh, this pack is stacked. I could run this. I could splash this. Do I need to splash that, though? It's either to splash that or play an owl bear. 
Oh, if the owl bear wasn't here, uh, owl bear, not the owl bear shepherd. If the owl bear wasn't here, oh, it would be so easy to just grab this and splash it. I still kind of want to do that. Let's do it. We already have kind of a complete deck. Oh, Pegasus Guardian. This is a, another nice top-end card that I don't mind playing. Oh, we are going to have to cut some things. I don't know what we're cutting. I might cut Ambushed on a Road. All right, there's another Steadfast Paladin, which is another, you know, good two drop. If that wasn't there, I might have just rare drafted the Belt of Giant Strength. Plus, we had the Owlbear come back in the first pack. Or, like, we had a late Owlbear in the first pack, so maybe there's a small chance the Owlbear will come back to us. Uh, blue is apparently open, to the surprise of no one. Summon Undead. I don't really like the Ranger Squadron. I don't think we're going to get any more big bombs, though. I don't know that we're playing that card. You line up the shot. Or another unicorn. Or another wild shape. Um, I'm going to take you line up the shot. Another paladin. Yeah. I feel like we've had three paladins before. Minimus containment. I think at this point we can take a containment. We're poison. Uh, Minimus Containment. Oh, hey, I found a 3-drop we can play. Now that we suddenly have a lot of Paladins. Okay, I'm not playing any of these cards. Another Unicorn, sure. Valiant Farewell. I could actually see a realm where we play that. Okay, we're going to have some cuts to make. Oh, wow, 49? Is there a realm where I just cut... What if we just cut green? Do I have other white... I have ambushed on a road. I cut green, and we have all of this. I don't hate it. I, I really don't hate the looks of this. Um, so what does green give us? That's really good. Myconids that could go well with the Devoted Paladin. Owlbear. I feel like I do want to play the Minimus Containment. Just for some more removal.
think Ranger Squadron's going to be the cut, at least from this deck. Uh, but what else could we do? Uh, so the green cards we would want to bring in are Jahira, these Mykonids, and the Owlbear, and probably the Owlbear Shepherd, but we're kind of lacking in three drops. I do notice that. Maybe we do go with this. But then what do we take out? We might take out a few of these. Like I can see taking out the Flaming Fist Dust Guard. The Valiant Farewell is not the most spectacular thing. Uh, maybe even taking out the Minimus Containment. Or even taking out... What are these unicorns? Like, we've got a few cards. Like, we've got the Paladin Unicorn. So I could run the deck like this. With two Myconids, there's five black sources for the for the decadent. Is that worth it for Jahira and Owlbear Shepherd and Myconids? I do feel like with Myconids and the Paladins, there is some good, like, token-based synergy there. And you hear something on watch. I do like that. I probably like that a little bit better than the Unicorn plan and the Flaming Fist Dust Guard plan. Do I need this thing? And the Owlbear Shepherd can let us draw later into the game, too. So then the question is, do we want to maybe hurt our mana base a bit to play this? We have no other fixing besides Myconids. I don't think that's needed. I feel like instead of that, I could run Edder Cap or line up the shot. Or Ranger Squadron. There have been kind of a lot of dragons and flyers running around lately. That I think Edder Cap could be worth it. And it's a three mana card. All right, yeah, let's try this. Um, who wants to be the star? Jahira? Yeah, Jahira could be the star. Why not? All right, let's see how this deck does. I could also morph it back to, like, the mono-white splash-black form if this doesn't go well. Just play, like, five or six swamps. But the Owlbear and the Owlbear Shepherd just seem like they're going to draw me some cards. Yeah, we'll keep this. Uh, start with the fours, don't start with the planes for reasons that don't matter anymore. Oh, we don't have a Oh, we have a Jahira. 
nice start. And we're up against red, so they could totally be having, uh... Could totally be having, uh... Oh, hey, we have five mana. We can... No. That takes six mana now. Beetles. Ah, uh, do not care about beetles? Not really. Uh, let's go attacking. I will hear something on watch. Okay. They weren't interested in hearing anything on watch. Improvised weaponry. I can save that. Which I feel like I kind of want to. Yeah, because I can activate it next turn to give my team. If they want to use another, like, Dragon's Fire on it. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We're going to pump the team. And we're going to swing it. The team also has Vigilance. So here comes a ton of damage. Opponent down to five. One more land. We can play this Meteor Golem. Play a Flyer. Just play like a... Uh, play a Red Dragon. That would make me the happiest right now. That does not make me the happiest right now. Oh, hey. Ah, oh, check it out. Meteor Golem's here. Kill that. And Jahiru can attack. Bringing our opponent... Well, they could chump block here. Chump block or go to three. Those are not very good choices. Because uh, on one hand, you don't really want to chump block when you've got... When you're staring down four creatures. And you don't want to go to three making... Because uh, going to three would make any combination... Like Jahira plus either of these two is lethal. That by itself is lethal. Actually, Jahira can specialize and be lethal as well. Should have just played a red dragon. That would have just gone better for me, but you know, whatever. All right, off to a good start. Okay, so I'm I'm happy with the green white so far. Um. If we didn't get our land there for the Meteor Golem, we were kind of going to be in trouble with their specialized creature. Because we, we also didn't have our uh, Here's Something on Watch anymore. I mean, we're missing green, but we have plenty of things to do here. We have even more things to do. Now let's see what they got. Uh, they have nothing. So we're going to attack. Play a soldier on the watch. See if this gets countered. It does not get countered. Combat attack. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Let's get another one going. Since we played this one, that's kind of a sneaky, sneaky thing. Um, that's kind of unfortunate, because it blocks everything we have. We'll just play out our stuff. No attacks. Any more, uh, well, one more land, we can uh, activate the Unicorn. And it can tap something. Tapping my Unicorn. 
If I double block, there's a chance we get blown out by a trick. I don't want to get blown out by a trick. I want to, like, activate my unicorn and attack with all of, the, all of this. Perfect. Perfect. Activate unicorn. Uh, everything is coming in. Prepare for trouble, make it double. And opponent is suddenly at five life. That's where I like my opponents to be. I don't like my opponents playing that. Clement, oh gosh. And an ice wind stalwart, pumping everything again. Alright, well, fortunately, we have other plays we can make. I feel like playing two Mykonids here is just better. Just go super wide, super threatening with this uh, unicorn if they can't deal with it. And no attacks. Thank you. Mist Dragon. Okay, that's going to tap one thing down. Do we have lethal here? They can block four things. Two, three, four. Oh, we have Paladin. I think we just play that. Yeah, we'll just play that. And send in everything. They okay, have a couple free blocks here. That's not a good block. Do they have a hear something on watch? They don't have a hear something on watch. Okay. So that works. Maybe it would have been a little bit safer to play the... Uh, I don't know. And with their juvenile mist dragon there, I'm glad we do have the other cap in the deck. If we didn't have the six lands there, well, I wouldn't have been able to play Owl Bear because we wouldn't have had the two forests, because we had four planes in a forest. So no, Owl Bear would not have been the play. It would have just I don't know what it would have been. Uh, I go first. Perfect time to play a gate. And a nice turn two soldiers on the watch. Turn three, we have Blessed Hippogriff uh, for if they try to block. And we have another soldiers. Okay, prepare for trouble and make it double. I kind of want to do this. I know it's not the most mana efficient play, but this isn't drawing us a card and it's not as aggressive as these guys. Kind of sneaky because the one that we double teamed like disappears, whereas these are still here. Okay. Uh, well, now... Now we're kind of a little bit stuck. Now I kind of wish I played the Yellow Bear Shepherd. Yeah, we can keep the Blessed Hippogriff up. But I don't have good attacks here. Because they block block, and I could... That is so kind of rough. Viconia. we got to be careful about that. Okay, no blocks. And our turn. So now I can play Owlbear Shepherd. They only have two red. 
You just play Paladin and Swing? They could get something off of Iconia, that's the problem. I think I'll just play the Owlbear Shepherd, maybe bait a kill spell. And we'll just chill for the moment. We need seven mana to play this and hold up the Hippogriff. Shambling Gas, that certainly makes things more uh, tricky. Oh, they can just sack this at any point to kill our thing, and Indestructible does not save it. I gotta make him use it anyways. I may as well make him use it. I'm gonna target that. I can't stop them from targeting that. That is unfortunate. But I can do this. Hopefully they don't have another... If they have another instant... Okay, they don't. I'm gonna say, if they had another instant removal spell, they could... Like, totally blew us out there. Okay, that's not an instant removal. Okay. Having some issues. Paladin. Like, if we play Paladin and don't attack. Six, seven. This is weird to play Paladin and not attack. I guess we could still attack. Because we would kill off one of these things. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe I should have drawn the card. I don't know, just making the board a little bit simpler. I mean, they can get Soldiers of the Watch anyways. Could get a Vampire Spawn. That's fine. That's fine if you want to sack your treasure and get yourself a Vampire Spawn. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna get back to the vampire as well. That's fine. Uh, specializing on black, so it's basically a double vampire spawn now. So it's gonna drain us for four. That's kind of gross. They don't have mana to play it. Four. We don't really have a lot of good options at the moment. We'll just uh, we'll just draw some cards here. We won't go attacking. We'll just pass turn. Don't want to give give him a chance to. I mean, it, I suppose it'd be a double block. Yeah, it'd be a double block. I'd only be losing. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. There's a sewer plague, which is unfortunate. Let's see, four, five, six. This could be seven, eight. Okay, so we still have. We'll still get an extra draw here. Uh, so no reason to attack again. Because I'm just going to get an extra draw. There's a Blessed Hippogriff, which we can play. So now I want them to play... Uh, play a Grim... You can't play a Grim Bounty. You can't cast... Okay, you can cast a Grim Bounty now. Play a Grim Bounty. That's not a Grim Bounty. We're actually kind of in trouble after this. 24 life. That's gross. 
Dragon's fire, perfect. There's a Mike and Ed, which can help us block. I think we get aggressive here. I th think we do. Well, that's what we're doing. So we can play this. And play Mike in it. We'll draw another extra card. Edder Cap, cool. So we have these flyers. This is why I have Edder Cap. So we have these flyers. They play a flyer, we just kill it. That's not a flyer. Alright, they're coming in. I do need things to die here. This is actually kind of a free block. Um, this can only kill one. I'm fine with that. Obviously, this is going to be the last hippogriff. If I play the Edder Cap as a creature, they're just going to just slap down a flyer and we'll be really sad. I can already feel it. Hopefully they don't know. No, don't have something that kills my Owlbear Shepherd. Then I'll be really sad. All right. No, I said don't do that, opponent. Well, if I can't have nice things, you can't have nice things either. Go, go, Meteor Golem. We gotta kill that Saravok. That's getting out of hand. Yep, you can sack. That's fine. Uh, throw this down. Combat. That's another six. We're both at twelve now. Basilisk collar. Gross. Can it just give the equipped creature flying? Well, we have to kill that. Fortunately, they're almost out of creatures. Can't just let you gain a bunch of life. I know I'm going to lose both because of Death Touch. It only takes one point to kill each of them. And then, yep, that's going to go on the ghoul. Let's activate the gate, see what we get. You are confronted by robbers. But who's really confronted by robbers? Yeah, we know the answer to that question already. Uh, all right, so there's six, seven, eight... We don't quite have enough to kill next turn. Seven, eight. Actually, attack on the ghoul. We can play this on end step. Play this on end step and possibly swing in for lethal. Or is this just, it's only two. Could have a trick here. I'm not going to block that. 
Play a flyer. Don't play that. That doesn't help me kill you next turn. Um, I cannot stop that from happening. So we'll just make some more tokens. We could get... We have another paladin in this deck, don't we? Oh, that's actually good. Go, go, Jahira. Um, everything. Have a boat ton of damage, and also... Please do not draw a flyer. No more life gain. Okay, lethal in like seven different ways. Okay, there we go. All right, next game, we're three and O. Oh. Wow. Off to a great start with this deck. Uh, it's been performing wonderfully, too. I can't really say I'm missing the Black Splash. I, I just... The Black Splash just seems too shaky for me. Like, we don't have... We don't have Druid. We don't have... Um, we don't have any Pilgrim's Eyes. Like, if we had Pilgrim's Eyes instead of the... Uh, Myconids, I would be more apt for a Black Splash. Oh. This is just, we need to draw early stuff, and we don't have early stuff. I, I can't keep that. This I can keep. Uh, Pegasus can go, I guess. Oh, I wasn't supposed to play that first. Now they know we don't have a they're going to know we don't have a humiliation. Ring the bell. Punch the fish. Punch these fish. It's Viconia. Yeah, I definitely could not keep that first hand. Yeah, that's fine. Play... Stop playing two threes. I don't want you to play two threes. Two threes are what rude people do. I didn't think you were that rude, S.J. Leaf, if that is your real name. No attacks this time. Uh, Minimus Containment. We can't contain the Jahira, and the Jahira can just specialize and kill it, so there is no point in playing that right now whatsoever. Uh, we don't have Owlbear online. Uh, we just hold back here. Pretend like we have the Lindworm. This is our first time seeing the Minimus Containment. It is horrible right now. Absolutely horrible. Next turn we have Owlbear, though. Uh, which still won't be able to activate. Lurking Roper... Oh, that's a scary card. Also, they can specialize into green and gain life that way. I was really hoping for an attack there of some kind. Um. Alright. More soldiers of the watch. Okay. Uh, not blocking that. Not this turn, anyways. Mykonid. Gonna gain some life. Gonna draw a card. No, they, they don't draw a card. <laughs> they untap their thing. Which is kind of bad. Uh, we're gonna draw a card. And we're gonna keep our Hippogriff up. Spider Cap, they don't have flyers right now. Jahira really needs to go. So does this thing. But, you know. Hmm. 
That goes wrong in so many ways, but I can't just, I can't let that thing keep hitting me. Okay. That worked. Circle of Revenge, Druid. Alright, so they just had tons of good creatures, but apparently no removal. I appreciate the fact that these three things got milled. No, wait. J Viconia can still bring stuff back. Oh, how do I... S I can't stop that. Nope, can't stop it. Oh, it's going to come back bigger. Oh, gosh. As a 4-5? Jahira still exists. I need that Jahira to specialize. And accessorize. Um, I don't know how we're going to get out of this one. Good news is we are drawing extra cards. Oh, hey, a way to get out of this one. Uh, this could work. That's bad. Oh, that's good. I have death for it. I have death for that, death for Jire, death for that, death for everything. Kill this thing, first of all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play the Unicorn. Do we attack here? It kind of leaves us with not a lot of blockers. I can attack with the Paladin. I like that attack better. That way we regain some life. Alright, perfect. Meteor Golem is going to kill this thing. Yep. Oh, there's my own Jahira, which doesn't kill any of their stuff right now. Oh, actually, they're going to specialize the Jahira killing our Meteor Golem. I like it. Do it. Do it. Kill my Meteor Golem. And then you will not kill my containment. And yeah, we can just go with those two. No need to get super crazy here. We're drawing extra cards. Oh, another Hippogriff. Oh, if only I had one more mana. Then I could Hippogriff protect this when they go to specialize. They can specialize now. You have a target. You have a target. I almost don't even need to kill there. Put a plus and plus one counter on each of up to two other target creatures. Alright, now I do have something I need to minimize containment. But, uh, that's okay. Actually, the play might be... The play might just be to... Swing with the owl, but can I? How much mana do I have? I have eight mana, so five for that, two for that, and I can protect my owl there. All right. No, that's not attacking. What am I doing? Uh, oh, these could also be attacking and getting me more things. I don't need to do that.
going for the double block here. And it's indestructible. Awesome. Gotta watch my cards. We have 19 cards. We have plenty of cards left. Going to draw another card. They're going to... Okay. Well, good thing we're not splashing for that. Uh, ooh, Devoted Paladin. That's a good draw. Well, that was unfortunate. Soldiers of the Watch for our opponent. A humiliation. Interesting. What do we humiliate? Whatever we want to, I suppose. Most likely the Viconia. Yeah, get this out of here. Because that's, that's really what's holding back everything. And we can play this. Yeah, we can attack with this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. We're in Diamond Tier 1. I think this is the first time I've ever been to Diamond Tier. I think I've been to Diamond Tier 2 before. We're in Diamond Tier 1. With a draft that is going phenomenal. We are 4-0. This is what we needed. This, this is what we needed. I'm really glad we didn't cut the green now. And we still had that min Minimus Containment just waiting in our hand to be used. That's also the first time we saw Humiliation, wasn't it? We have two of them in the deck. Waiting for our next opponent. Cadbury is kind and insightful and... Yeah, okay. Luis Carlo. A platinum tier opponent. Any third land gets us Myconid and Owlbear Shepherd. Well, let's try it. All right. Uh, Steadfast Paladin, you are late to the party. We're going to play this. This works better with our Humiliation. If we draw land, we get Owlbear. They have Pilgrim's Eye. That lets me swing in. Oh, just kidding. Land and Owlbear. Only attacking with this. If they want to trade, that's fine. If they don't want to trade and take damage, that's fine too. Oh, they have red in the deck? Alright. Well, Owlbear. Another land. Okay, so at this point, we're kind of producing more threats right now. Let's see what they got. Follow the tracks. That's... Not the play, opponent. Oh, good. I wanted more planes. Um... Four, five, six, seven. I would have to play this and the Paladin. Which I guess I'm fine with doing. I want to draw my extra card here. If they get to kill something. Then... Okay, they're just going to take all of this damage to the face. I mean, I'm not protecting anything, but it's okay because I can protect something later. And we're going to draw an extra card here. Oh, now I can really protect stuff. Our hand looks so disgusting. Do not kill my Owlbear Shepherd, please. Okay. Don't have another one of those. 
Okay. Circle of the Land Druid. Sure. What are we milling here? A lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, and our Pegasus Guardian is showing up for the first time. Uh, I think we just swing in here. And with the... What are they going to do? Attack me for three? I don't even think I protect this. I really don't even feel like protecting that. If they want to return to land, that's fine. I could even play a Hippogriff here. Which, there's some merit to that. Three cards in hand. Yeah, let's run out of Hippogriff. Because we have, we have protection, we have removal. If they tap out, I'm going to blink this and draw an extra card. If they try to kill that, I'm going to protect it with the other one. See, it's, it's fine. Everything is good. Alright, you got four mana opponent. Druidic Ritual, that is not the play. I really don't think that's the play. Where are you getting back? Ancient Brunt, oh gosh. Um, I can't kill that. So we need opponent removal here. I'm going to get tricked into blocking. They didn't get tricked into blocking. Alright, they're at two. Dragon doesn't even save them, really. Well, it really doesn't. Edder cap, sure. You're at three. You're still dead. That's dead. I have four. You can only block one of the flyers. Yeah. You're still dead on board. Super dead to, you know, blink this, humiliate this. And then dead. And then play unicorn and dead. Just did dead. Everything dead. You know, I think I've only had one draft where I went 7-0. Maybe I had two. I think my first one in Streets of New Capeno that I may not have uh, recorded, that might have been a 7-0. Or at least like a 6 or 7-1 or, or something. 7-1 or 7 something. Um... The only other draft, and I recommend checking it out, that was, it was an insane draft. It was Crimson Vow, draft number 13, uh, which is actually where we started this journey to Mythic Rank. All right, we're up against Kodo. Another Platinum Rank. Yeah, this is fine. Play any green cards we draw. Well, minus, you know, the five mana out there. We have Paladins. And we have less Hippogriff. We're good. We can play Owlbear now. Do not counter this. They have a stick because of that. Okay. You want to loot? Sure, you can loot. Okay, so we're up against blue-red. That's actually a good card. Are we desperate for lands or something? I don't know. I don't know anything. Let's go attacking. I know how to do that. 
I know how to play another paladin. Okay, looting again. Maybe digging for an undersimplify. That'd be a good thing to dig for here. Love this music. Jahira. Sure. I mean, opponent's making land drops. Land drops and looters. This is what, what we're playing against. Meanwhile, I've got... <laughs> Alpatins. Um, I feel like I just allow a trade. Because I could get blown out here by... I don't want to get blown out. That's fine. I have another one. This is just... Paladins versus looters. The new, the new rivalry in this set. I have a devoted paladin. This is, there's a, there goes a Lindworm. There's a Rabble Rouser. Hey, we're doing something. We're playing a third looter? What? What is this? Uh, do I play around a counter? I kind of don't want to run into a counter, but they haven't played a counter yet. Okay, cool, cool. No counter for Kodo, and there's a Minimus Containment. That is a good draw. Owlbear is a good attacker. We have a good Blessed Hippogriff. Our opponent says go. Alright. Owlbear? I could contain their excitement. I don't need to contain that. I'm going to use that on something better if they ever get to it. I mean, they're blazing through their deck. Discard a mount. That confuses me. I don't understand what's going on. I... Okay, you have mountains. Okay. Oh, look, Soldier of the Washer. Something else we can do. Please do block with your Rabble Rousers. I really want to kill the Rabble Rousers. I mean, this doesn't even kill. You gotta, you gotta pump that up. There you go. Uh, we're gonna make it indestructible. Don't have a trick. Don't, don't do it. You did it. That's not the worst. Like, we lost our whole thing there. We know they have a serpent, which is a great target for this minimus containment. But we get to replay our owlbear and draw a card. So, not the worst. I could use some, like, devoted paladins here, though. Voted Paladin or even a Unicorn. Those would be amazing. That's a Pegasus, not a Unicorn, but you know what? Close enough. Yeah, but the problem is now I don't have... And I don't really want my Owlbear to die. just chill. 
Kill it. Try and kill it. Yeah. Awesome. Flicker it. I'm in so much trouble now. Oh, and another hippogriff. Awesome. Okay. I'm more comfortable now. Oh, found green and didn't cast this. I was going to go ahead and say, that's really weird. So maybe I don't need to save this. And we can just cast the Pegasus Guardian and the Jehira. I'm fine with a trade now. You don't... I am very confused. I'm very confused and I trust absolutely nothing about this situation. Uh, so we're going to play our Jahira. Okay. I wanted you to cast it. You could cast this. And you're not playing your... What? I'm so confused. Dragon's Fire, do I care about that? I mean, I guess. Okay, thank you. That's what I wanted you to do. That is precisely what I wanted you to do. This becomes a treasure. You'll treasure it forever. Um, do I need to specialize? I can specialize and cast. Kind of like that. Destroy up to one target. Okay. Each of up to two other targets. Oh. Whatever. Maybe I should play the Hippogriff first. Uh, submit zero. That. Ah, yeah. We can go swinging with that now. Combat. Combat, yep. Yeah. Actually, we'll do it like this. Everything. Everything everywhere. Opponent is in massive trouble. Because, yeah, those two are lethal and just... We have all this stuff. We've finally broken through. We've finally broken through. We're in Diamond Tier 1. With an amazing green-white deck that is 6-0. On the cusp of another 7-0. My second ever 7 and 0. I'm going to call it my second ever 7 and 0. I, I don't think my other, my unrecorded draft was 7 and 0. And if it was, it was in like bronze rank. Because uh, I did like one draft before I started the Streets of New Capenna series. And I was at, I was at bronze rank because I hadn't played Arena in a few months. But now we're here. Now we're in Diamond Tier 1. Three wins away from Mythic rank. One win away from a perfect 7-0 in this draft. The, the saddest part is we're not going to be able to make it to Mythic rank in this uh, in this draft, regardless of how good we do here. Just because you max out at seven wins. I want to take this. I want to play this deck some more. We got so many good cards. So many of our cards like came around really late. Like Owl Bear in pack one came around late. You're Confronted by Robbers came around pack one late. We were just seeing like some good... Like, we didn't get any Priest of Ancient Lords, but we got two Hippogriffs. Which is still a good card. Now, I want to talk about the Hippogriff. Since we have two of them. And we're waiting for an opponent. Uh, a Hippogriff... The, the, the reason for the rebalance that, that Wizards gave for the Hippogriff in my opinion, is kind of a joke. They said it's too easy to leave up one mana 
for an indestructible trick. They're like the indestructible trick makes it too good. No, what makes Hippogriff good is it's two cards in one. It's the adventure indestructible trick for one mana. And then you have a four mana, two, three flyer that gives something else flying. So it, it can essentially be like a game winning threat. So it's a protection spell and a game winning threat in one. And it still is a uh, key. Awesome. We're getting our our lands here. Might go with Soldiers of the Watch next just to... I might not. Play the Paladin next. I mean, they could attack in and I could double block. We get blown out if they cast a dragon's fire. And they already got a double team. Whatever. You got it. You have a mic in it, sure. Um, I can swing in here with this. Regain some lost life. And play a nice blocker of our own. Close hog. Oh, that needs to go. That's that's not allowed. I don't care if this does accelerate them. Get that out of here. This No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Lozhan is a uh, you don't answer it, you lose the game very quickly sort of card. I don't want to lose the game very quickly. I, I want to get 7-0. We're one win away from that. We all have, we just have to beat uh, the, the son of, son of vest, son of, son of vest, son of vest is. Yeah. Oh, I have a uh, unicorn activation online. We're not doing that right now. It's just something worth noting. And play as Soldiers of the Watch here. Uh, I'll leave up a Unicorn activation. Uh, opponent didn't have a strong follow-up to uh, this. Which makes me feel better. Okay, I mean, that's just basically just cycling the card. I like that they're tapping red. I don't like Ambergris. I don't like Ambergris at all. Attack me with that Ambergris, please. They're not attacking me with Ambergris. You're going to specialize and accessorize, okay? Please attack me. Please attack me. Please attack me with Ambergris. Oh, we're passing to attack. Okay, attack me with Ambergris, please. Please, I need to kill it. Thank you. Oh, because it has to put on another target. Oh, it's, it's any target. Okay. So, going to get two counters. Okay, let's let that go. Two counters on that. That is going to be a problem at some point. Uh, but Ambergris has to go. So... I'll deal with that thing later. Deal with Ambigris now. Deal with that thing later. Ooh, opting to take out the uh, Owlbear Shepherd first. Well, we can't have that. Because I need to draw some cards. I could lifelink or boost swing it. Actually... That doesn't sound horrible. Pump the team, swing. And then I would get to... Can't kill anything? Oh, they could kill this. Nah. We're gonna play this. 
We'll have that for next turn. We'll have to draw. I want extra draws. There we go. There we go. We're not doing too bad. I'd have to pump twice. Which is fine. Fine. It's fine. Okay, no pumping. That's not fine. That's... That is not fine at all. I don't think we're going to go 7 0 anymore. Uh, just a hunch. I play Devoted Paladin. But I can't even attack. Nothing even has the power to threaten to kill Miriam. Oh, that was such a draw. Such a draw. Well, we're going to draw guards. Uh, okay, well, this can kill Bronze Walrus, I guess. I need Edder Cap. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, you don't have... You have five. You have five. Don't cast it right away. Don't cast it. They're casting it right away. Oh, we're in so much trouble. I need Edder Cap. Like yesterday. Oh, I still can't kill that thing. No blocks. Crap. We're in so much trouble. That's not what we needed. I needed Edder Cap. I needed... I need things. And stuff. What is the word on this thing, too? Oh, crap. I thought I had enough to play both of those and... Well, we lose now. Honestly, I think we just lose in the air anyways. No attacks. End turn. That's not at her cap. Six, seven, eight, nine. Lots of damage. Okay, we can kill things on the ground at least. That's going down. Pump three or four times. Darn it. Um, Paladin, yeah, I'm gonna have to block these soldiers. Yep, so bad. I mean, I can... Wait a minute. I could kill one of the blue dragons. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You can stop that. Okay, we're gonna... This plus one plus one does not save my stuff. We're gonna... We're gonna try and save some stuff here. Maybe I need to save my paladin. I don't know. Well, that's not Edder Cap. But... But, but, but... Oh yeah, my Jahira's dead. That's fine. Two and six. Okay. Okay. Coming in. Oh, I don't get the damage for him. whatever. I 
I could do the pump again, but then I'm definitely dead next turn. Somewhere in my mind, I thought I was attacking with the um, Paladin. You get the draw. Okay. None of those say Edder Cap. That's not better. We're dead. We're dead in the air. No! That was a good attempt. The Sunner Vests defeated us, ended our ended our undefeated streak here. We're six in one now. That's okay though. I mean they had Miriam. This is why we're running under cap. We just don't draw the under cap when we need it. Didn't we draft a line up the shot as well? We could be running that. Yeah, I'm fine with just the utter cap. Because that can also, like, be a 2 5 with reach. Alright, 6 and 1. Let's get to seven wins. We just need one more. Uh, we, we need one more opponent as well. Baldur's Gate is a welcoming and inclusive port city on the Sword Coast. The Sword Coast, it's a haven for opportunity, commerce, and corruption. Okay, interesting. The Sword Coast. If you don't want to cast a spell or activate an ability, you can pass priority with the spacebar. Okay. Can I get an opponent? Yeah. Oh, I thought there we go. We got one. Is the game gonna auto abort? Cause it's okay. We're up against Odin. And game is not auto aborting because it took. This is terrible. Because it took uh, too long to get a uh, slightly less terrible. As we're so far off from Meteor Golem, that pains me. It pains me. Any third land we got Mike in it online. And we have a Jahira. We don't have a Jahira. This is Dragon's Fire. No! My only creature for now. It didn't do anything to you. Oh, you're... Just... Okay. Okay, remember when I said any third land and we can play the Mykonid? Any third land that doesn't come in tapped. Uh, opponent stuck on mana. Opponent kept a 7 land hand. Uh, apparently was a risky 7 card hand. Uh, we're going to get aggressive here. Oh yes. Someone's about to drop to like 5 life by an accident. That's not quite accurate. Swashbuckler extraordinaire. Uh, I don't care about that. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, you're confronted by robbers. I'm not confronted by robbers. You are. Uh, you're also confronted by a devoted... Okay, eight damage. We're going to take eight here. Eight here, down to ten. If I draw on a land there, would be attacking for twelve, which would have been a bit better. And opponent doesn't want anything else to do with this game. I mean, I would have just had some 1-1 one -one tokens after that. Okay, cool. We got 7-1. Almost 7-0. But it's good. It's good. <gasps> we got a rare upgrade on a violet card. On a, the, the card. Welcoming Vampire. Cool. And that gets us 7 wins and max prizes. This feels good. After all the kind of middling 
two to four win drafts we've had, this was very nice. Very nice. Very cool. And I have an even 40,000 gold. You may be asking, why am I not using my gold uh, to enter these drafts? Well, the reason for that, and I told you guys my policy about like wanting to be at 20,000 gold, so I keep an extra 10,000. I think I'm revising my policy. That's not why. Uh, other reason, like I might start playing or, or collecting. Where are the bottles? No, where did... Oh, there we go. I, I scrolled. I missed them somehow. Okay. Uh, these bundles of cards. Uh, like all these, you get four copies of each of these rares and or mythics. Um, and using wild cards on those would be kind of costly. I may eventually want to start playing like Explorer or Historic. Sometimes I'll, I'll even use some of these types of cards for like Brawl decks um, or like when they have like Historic Artisan or, or Explorer, they had Explorer as like a midweek magic sort of thing. So I do want to pick these up. I want to pick them up for gold, not for gems. Um, so yeah, I mean, technically I can buy one. I'm like, I'm refraining from buying one right now just because I'm like, uh, if I find a deck where I could just buy one of these and build the deck, then I would buy the one. But the thing is, like, I saw some cool, like, affinity uh, artifact decks for Historic. And uh, it used, like, some of these artifact lands. And so I was going to buy this bundle. But then over here, the Dark Steel Citadel that the deck also wants is in this bundle. And I'm not going to wildcard any of these if I'm just going to buy them. So... Yeah, that's why I'm hanging on to them. Also, I'm going to refine my policy to hang on to at least 15,000 gold. Uh, reason being is they had another they had another bundle. They had another pack bundle a little while ago. I already bought it. It was five packs of each of the uh, alchemy things. So we'll have those to open as well. I think I went over that. And somehow there was a Throne of Eldraine pack on sale the other day at 10%. So I bought it. Because it was, you know, 10% off. Anyways, uh, that got turned into a bit of a sidebar. Next time, we might make it to Mythic. But for now, I'll take my leave. <laughs>